So a very interesting report came out yesterday, and I honestly didn't know what to make of it, but all I kind of got from this report was that Apple wanted to make the iPhone 14, and mostly the iPhone 14 Pro, a little bit of a better device. And this was actually going to be a massive, massive change. So essentially, this report from 9to5Mac, but a lot of other people talked about it too, they said Apple acts plans for the next generation GPU in iPhone 14 Pro after a rare engineering blunder. So essentially what they wanted to do, which was actually pretty crazy, they wanted to essentially have this next generation GPU a much more powerful, you know, upgrade coming from the previous generation. So they essentially say, you know, in this article, the shipping iPhone 14 Pro GPU cores use a similar architecture to the cores found in the A15 chip from the 13 Pro, which honestly wasn't that big of a you know, deal. I could have easily suspected that from all the speed tests and after using the my 14 pro for a long period of time i realized it wasn't really that much bigger or you know difference of a speed difference from my previous generation but they they mentioned that apple briefly mentioned that the five core gpu had 50 percent higher memory bandwidth the new gpu would avoid yada yada right but then this new little you know addition essentially stated that apple wanted this generation to be a big noticeable leap. They made a few leaps in their GPU segments a few years. I think, I don't remember, maybe the iPhone 11 Pro or the iPhone 12 Pro, they mentioned something like that. I'm not, I don't really remember too, too much, but essentially with this new lineup, they actually wanted to enable some sort of ray tracing to their specific iPhone lineup, which that in and of itself is actually really, really interesting. For a phone and for a device like this, to have that type of capability would have been awesome. Now, some other people mentioned that this new addition would have been a little bit too ambitious for Apple to actually do. So again, it's one of those situations that you're kind of put in and it's like, okay, like, you know, Apple can make these, you know, differences, but then if the product doesn't work out that well, and or if it's overheating the, you know, iPhone, if it's causing too many issues, glitches, or if the cost of it, you know, just costs way too much, then that can also be an issue. But according to these reports, what actually ended up kind of causing the most amount of issues here was that they ended up losing a lot of talent. They ended up losing a lot of key different people, at least from these articles that they're mentioning, that essentially they just, I guess, didn't get along. And they say since 2019, since they, you know, kind of created their own silicon divisions or started branching out of them they've always had you know silicon for like their apple series and whatnot but when they started really kind of you know improving that specific lineup it looks like a lot of people actually ended up leaving apple which is interesting because johnny ive also left apple i think around this time since 2019 to now that he left somewhere in between so i'm not really surprised that this type of feature didn't come out but I'm kind of, this just makes me more excited about the iPhone 15, to be honest. So at the end of the day, the iPhone 14, 14 Pro were supposed to be better. They ended up not you know, being up to par, but you know, still it is what it is. Hopefully this comes out for the 15. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.